The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome back to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host, and I have some very interesting guests today. And they are from Art with a Splash. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, well, that's right. Welcome to the show, Jim and Joanne and Kelly. Yes. I had to say it first. All right. <laughs> All right well, that's covered. Welcome to the show. Thanks for Thank having you. us. So, Art with a Splash. Uh, tell us a little bit about Art with a Splash. You have a, a store in, in Portsmouth? We yes, do. we okay. do. We have a store in Portsmouth and now one opening in Nashua. Interesting. Well, tell us a little bit about the store in Portsmouth and how did that get started? Mm -hmm. Well, um, Kelly's friend who lives in Colorado gave, uh, told her about this concept uh, at Paint and Sip Studio and uh, we decided we'd try it here on the East Coast. So we decided that we'd like to be in Portsmouth and it was a great town. It's very artsy and cultural. Right. And we found a spot, and uh, the next thing we know, we were opening it up and having people come in, paint pictures. And I instruct them up on the stage, and we have lots of fun. Now, is there a lot of competition in Portsmouth? I mean, because there are a lot of artsy things going on in Portsmouth. Um, no, I mean, there's nothing else like what we do in Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Portsmouth is a very you know, artsy kind of community, and right. everyone really appreciates the arts there. But I think that what makes our business so popular is Art can be intimidating to people at the same time, even though they might appreciate it, they don't actually do it for themselves. Right. So it gives people an opportunity to get their hands you know, right into the mix of it, whereas sometimes they might just walk by a gallery and say, oh wow, that painting is really nice. This allows them to actually come into a studio and create their own painting that they can hang up at home. Now, are, are you people painting in front of the picture window, or is it? Mm -hmm. is, so that's people walk by? It's totally visible to, to the, the people walking by. And they, they, they stop by all the time in Portsmouth and look in and wonder what's going on. Yeah, the foot traffic is amazing. And, and it really generates a lot of interest. So, Kelly, you said people are intimidated by painting or by, I, by a little bit. I think so, a little bit. If you've never done something like that before, especially, you know, adults, they can get scared of trying new things that are outside their comfort zone. Right. But I think especially seeing other adults do it and seeing it in action, um, all of a sudden they're like, well, I could probably do that. So, you know, it's... I think what, what's really interesting is you, you have a way of taking the edge off. Right. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's Definitely. art with a splash and a little art, splash, a little splash, and a little instruction, <laughs> and a little bit, uh, a little bit of wine happy. maybe. Yeah. To go with it. Yeah. I mean, the the splash part is a sort of play on words mm -hmm. um, because paint does get splashed around when you're painting, but right. the splash piece of our business is. Um, you're able to bring in your own beverage of choice, whether it be wine, beer, or you know anything that you like to drink. We've had everything from iced tea to sangria. So, so bring your own, or do do you sell it's it there? Own, it's yeah. a BYOB. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Now you're teaching people how to paint, basically from the beginning to a, a finished product. Right. You mm -hmm. all work on the same topic. We do. We all there's a subject of the of the night that we have, and it's on our calendar on our website. Uh, you can go to our website and pick whatever picture you like and whatever you can come and the whole class works on the same uh, subject whether it be a tropical island or uh, the Nubble Lighthouse and, or something which of... got to be a popular... I, I do a lot of the, the local scenery, uh, right. Prescott Park which is right down the street from us so I try to you know get some local flavor into the, the mix there as well as other paintings and we all have a great time. Uh, Joanne, you're an art designer? I'm a jewelry designer. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have been doing jewelry for six and a half years, seven years. And I have a rep. She goes around the country and just been doing that for seven years and loving it. Uh, do you paint at all? 
I don't. My duties are front desk. I plan parties. I take calls. Oh, you do um, parties? Yes. Oh. We do children's parties. We do bachelorette parties, corporate parties, uh, team building parties, church groups. You name it, we do it. Date night. We have date night. We have certain theme night. That's a cool date. Yeah. It is. Let's it go is. paint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that idea. That's oh, yeah. a very yeah. cool date. Yeah, then couples let's... always have a good time with it. They, they, they tend to get like a little competitive with each other oh. to see who's going to have mm -hmm. the better painting at the end of the night <laughs> right. and which one, you know, mom and dad are going to like better, which one their friends are going to like better when they come over. So they have fun with it. That's, yeah. that's creative. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have a painting in front of you. Mm -hmm. How advanced can you teach these people how to paint? Can, can you teach them how to shade with oils? Or how, and how do you shade with oils? Well, it's not oils, it's acrylics, which are very similar to oils, except they dry really quick. Okay. Okay, so that way, that's the way the, they can go home with their painting at the end of the class. Uh, oils, you'd be there waiting for quite a long time. Right. But they, they act the same way. You can blend the colors. I teach people how to blend colors, how to shade, do like a little shadow here and there just to make it look a little more realistic. Um, I also encourage creativity. Uh, I want people to kind of do their own little spin on it or, you know, tweak it a little bit, put in their own little dog or uh, whatever they want. I help them with it. And uh, I always tell them, don't be afraid to put your own spin on this and, and add your own touch to make it personal. So if somebody comes to you and says, you know, while they're having a class, you know, Jim, I, I thought this was a dog, but it looks like a possessed pumpkin. <laughs> Can you help them fix it? I help them fix everything. There's always room to... Uh, make corrections, and I tell people, don't panic. You know, we, they dry quick, and we can go right over it right. and cover it up. And so that, then we're working with texture, right? A little bit mm -hmm. more texture. Mm -hmm. It's texture. All layered on yeah. there. Yeah. We'll fix it, right? There are certain techniques right. with the brush, how to make it look like Van Gogh's Starry Night. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anything they want to do to, to add their own little touch to it is fine. Um, is there usually a little ambiance with music going oh, on? Oh, by all means. We, we play music. Uh, we actually, Joanne has a nice playlist she puts together, depending on what painting it is. If we're doing Starry Night, like I just mentioned, Starry, she'll play Starry that song. Night. By, exactly. Yeah, by Don mm -hmm. McLean. Yeah. And um, people the, love it. It's very inspiring. Or any songs that even have star, stars in it. That, right. You know, I'll have a little playlist of stars. We do another painting called uh, Rainy Night in Paris. And then I'll play some French music, or I'll play songs with rain. And, you know, so we do that. And um, for children, uh, we, you know, try to keep up on what kids like for music. And we, you know, have a little playlist for that. So there's always a little music um, to go along with the, the paintings. So how big is the normal, typical class? We can get, what, 30 people in Portsmouth? Yeah. 30 people? Yeah. We can get 30. We've had even more than that. We, we've 35. Added, yeah, we've yeah. gone. Push the max there. Um, uh, so yeah, the, we can handle quite a few people, and the more the merrier. I, uh, people come in with their own party, and we always tell them, just join right in with the whole group. We're all here for the same reason, and people meet each other, and they start introducing themselves. I was just going to say, do people do, you know, make new connections there? Oh, if by all if you're a lonely company. Yeah, it's a great yeah. place we, to and meet we've people. Had, yeah. uh, they get talking about it, and right. you know. People have been there before, they come back and they tell other people, well, we did that one, you know, mm -hmm. that painting, and we had so much fun. And, and, and we're back. Yeah, yeah. yeah and we've had everything from a, a solo person come in on their own just looking for something to do. If mm -hmm. they're traveling in town for business and they want to go do something fun. Right. Um, and oh, we've had cool. groups of, you know, girlfriends come out for mommy night out or girls yeah. night out or something like that. And everybody kind of mingles and talks. And we usually take a break about halfway through. So... People can get up and refill their glasses and walk around and see how the work in progress is going for everyone. And, and you say, well, you know, you've had too many of those glasses. You better yeah. lighten up on that. <laughs> well, it's pretty <laughs> funny how everyone is the, everyone's very nervous sometimes in the beginning. And then we can see when the wine starts to hit people because suddenly, you know, they get a little more into it and their inhibitions come down a little bit more at first. They're so afraid to touch that canvas. So, Everything's quiet. Yeah, yeah exactly. They get up. really into yeah, it. Usually about they, halfway through, yeah. they start, you know, changing their attitude. And like Hell said, they, they kind of drop the, uh, the fear. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the fear disappears and all of a sudden they're saying, wow, this kind of looks like what it's supposed right, to look Right, exactly. Like. I was going to say. When Have you a little first, more. It's going to look better. Yeah, That's when right. When you first start painting something, like any project that you do, mm -hmm. you're, the first nail you hammer in, the first, 
you know, time you touch the brush to the canvas, you're like, what in the world am I doing here? And mm. then as you start getting into it, you know, you see where a tree is going or you see where a shadow is going. And as you step back, you're like, oh, I get it. And I'm, and I'm doing this, you right. know, so. Oh, that's, that's neat. Yeah. Uh, we have another person who has a show here, Ken Gidge. It's, uh, he's an artist by, and he, uh -huh. he actually does 3D in painting. Oh, wow. So uh, that's pretty impressive. Have yeah. you ever seen that? No. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. No. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's, he's actually figured out how to do 3D in painting, which is uh, very impressive as far as <laughs> yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah, probably not something you could do in a two-hour class. But Probably <laughs> right. not. Yeah. Right. Can you, you can obviously upgrade on your classes, I would imagine. If you get to one level, you can see if somebody has certain skills, you, you can help them move on. Yeah, we have this. a lot of people that come in, some have painted. I'm mm. going to say 95% haven't probably picked up a paintbrush since like grade school. Right. But in the same with ages. <laughs> <laughs> same with ages. Other than painting a house. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah right. exactly. But, you know, we have seven-year-olds. We've had up to 90, 90-year-olds. 90 so right. it's, you know, the whole gamut. And, um, you know, they just, they just enjoy it. And sometimes they'll come in and be so stressed coming from work driving and I have had so many people tell me I haven't thought of a thing for two and a half hours two two and a half hours nice. as long as it takes the paint painting so it's very therapeutic relaxing mm -hmm. too on the other hand um, so that's that's another good thing about yeah. it. Yeah the acrylics don't they don't smell too much I mean they don't no, not at all they're of... not they're non-toxic and um, we always have a little warning in the beginning we have a, a paint uh, we mix with water, it mixes with water, and we have a paint cup on the table. And I always tell everybody, don't drink from your paint cup, right. whatever you do. <laughs> it won't hurt you, but I don't think, but um, it probably won't taste very good. Now, yeah. if somebody wants to preserve their painting, do you, do you uh, spray it over with some type of they lacquer? They really don't need anything. Acrylics is like a it's, uh, very sturdy paint. Uh, it'll last for a long, long time. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's resilient to water and all that. Uh, so there's really nothing you have to do. Um, People could frame them if they wanted to. Certainly, if it comes you offer out, that there? we've even had people sell them. <laughs> they took. I had one girl say, "I took one uh, to my office, and somebody bought it." So, uh, <laughs> wow! You never know, and I always tell everybody, you never know. You know, you could. I could start something here, spark your creativity, <laughs> and you could go on to bigger and better things. Exactly. Do you uh, do any abstract painting at all? I, I do. I have done some myself yep. over the years. Um, I might try some in the classes. I don't know. If I get a, a demand for something, I'm always up for it. Um, we have had people ask for certain paintings, and I kind of create some on my own for them. Right. And um, it works out great. They have something in mind, like uh, you know, some boats on the water or something, and I kind of try to create what they have in their mind oh, and nice. do that. Uh, so we're always open for uh, different ideas and we do one with the dogs, and like I help them kind of do their own dog in the painting. Two dogs running along the beach, and uh, like I said, try to personalize it a little bit. People love it. Now we're going to bring it home a little bit because we've been talking about Portsmouth. Right. Mm -hmm. You opened up the store here in Nashua. Yes. Very soon. Yeah. Okay. It's coming up. Opening doors are August 15th. August 15th yeah. here in Nashua. Yay. Yay. Yeah. 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 We, we thought that this would be a great location for what we're doing. Uh, get people out and get them involved in art. Uh, even if you've never tried it before, I thought this would be a great place to do this. Oh, nice. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how big will the studio be here in Nashua? We have almost doubled the size, I think, it, that yeah. we do in Portsmouth. Bigger than the one in, yeah, so, we have. And two rooms. We have we two can rooms. Do. We so have we have a front studio that has big windows. Um, and So people can walk by still like there Absolutely, in yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. So they'll be able to see in what we're doing. And then we have a room in the back that... Um, you know, we haven't quite decided what we're going to do with it, but mm. we've definitely got the potential to expand and try different mm -hmm. things. So right. well, we're maybe have a band in the background. Or yeah, something. you or, never yeah. know. Yeah. Exactly. Have acoustic trio. Exactly. Or a table or yeah. something. Yeah. But I was thinking more along the lines of like a private party. We could have that going oh. on at the same time that we have our our we public do, session yeah, going on out front. We could do two classes front. at we could at have once. Like a, Fundraisers. Class. And, yeah. So yeah. where where is it located? In, in uh, is it's off of Main Street? It's no. Eleven Main Street, Eleven right Main at the north end of Main Street. Uh, right across from the Hunt Memorial Building. Um, it's a beautiful location. Uh, there's plenty of parking around that area. Uh, and we're going to be open starting uh, August 15th, like Kelly said. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays, we're, we're doing classes just to get started. And we'll probably be doing more, I hope, as time goes on. Well, we start off with classes, though, the same at 
Same idea um, as far as what we'll offer for paintings mm -hmm. or? Well, it's classes like, for instance, senior night, uh, date night. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, we same do idea, exactly. Things. We do couples night. Um, we actually do a, a crossover painting. Like Each person works on one half of it, and then you can hang it up and make one whole picture out of it. And that's kind of neat for couples, too. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. We have a, a few different uh, subjects that we do that with. But, yeah, but you're, know you. yeah, you're right. What you were, I understand what you were asking as far as like, well, we do date night, bachelorettes. Right. Absolutely. We've already had people call to start booking for parties oh. and yes. classes and all of that. So the word is spread. We've had a lot of people from Nashua come to Portsmouth. So we knew there yeah. was interest here. We knew that the population would support it. Oh yeah. Um, so it's. But there's a lot of arts in this town. There a lot of, definitely a lot of musicians, is. Yes. A lot of. Right. Uh, it's a very definitely. cultural town, actually. I think one of the biggest galleries is in Nashua, mm -hmm. in, in southern New Hampshire. Yeah. So we've we're excited that we're able to, you know, come meet the needs of the folks here because so many of them have come to Portsmouth, right. and um, it's been exciting to have that. But now we can come to them. So <laughs> that that's a great idea. And and you folks are are kind of in between. You're from Concord area, so you yes, which is another artsy town. Uh, there's mm -hmm. yeah, a lot yeah. of arts up that way. That's always yeah. uh, another possibility. We haven't uh, we haven't decided on it yet, but uh, we'll see how it goes in Nashua. And if things go well, you never know. Will you display some of your jewelry at the store? I might. I do in Portsmouth a little bit, so I probably will. I I. The answer is yes, because it's bigger. Good it's, answer. <laughs> Put it out it's there. It's bigger, <laughs> and um, I will display some necklaces, probably some earrings, and you know, just show it, see what happens. So when people come in to the studio, what do they have to be prepared for? Just bring your bottle of wine or just That's or your cup bring of coffee yourself. or whatever you yeah, want? Yeah, whatever you want to drink. And we you don't have, have to bring an apron or change nope. your clothes? We, we supply everything. Um, some people come in, they don't drink. Mm -hmm. You know, they just come in, bring coffee. Uh, sometimes we have a brunch uh, painting. And all paintings are originals. Jim has created every painting, except if he does like Starry Night or some of those. But uh, every painting is an original. And, um, and people don't have to bring anything in. Yeah. They just show up. Just show we up. have the paint, the brushes, the aprons, the canvases, the easels. Um, and we even take care of the cleanup. Yeah, right. which is just huge. That, yeah. All they have to do is sit back and relax right. and enjoy their painting and, yep. and talk have with a good everybody. Time. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And another theme that we have is uh, we have a, Jimmy created a Santorini painting from Greece. So we have a Greek night, Greek music. I am Greek, so I might make some little Greek pastries. And, you know, we'll do something like that. I know a few Greeks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good people. So a little pitta yeah, and, uh, and a little sambuca. We have the Eiffel Sambuca. Tower. We do the Eiffel Tower. I have a mm -hmm. painting of that. So it's like the French night, you know. Right. Um, we so can invite French Hill, which is the toll street. Right. Yeah, right. we're right mm -hmm. by French Hill. Um, we're going to try to do some paintings of the local scenes, too. Greeley Park is a beautiful park right mm -hmm. here in town. Uh, it's, not, it's just up the street from us, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, actually, I think they're having a, an art festival coming up on the 17th of August. So, uh, you know, we might even be there and pass out a few flyers or something to let people know that they can participate and actually create their own paintings. Mm -hmm. Right. Like well, said. consider one thing, maybe uh, having your own chill here on Access Nashua, too, because uh, it, it can bring uh, people to you as well. Right, because yeah. yeah. we're such naturals on camera. Absolutely. <laughs> did, did you find it a hard time? No. It, no. No, we love talking about it because we love what we're doing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's easy to talk about something you enjoy. Exactly. So. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it, it sounds brilliant. It sounds mm -hmm. like a great idea. It's a great yeah. idea. It's fun. It so is fun. there a website that people can go to? Yes. We do. It's called uh, www.artwithasplash.com. Uh, mm. Okay. And yeah. that pretty much, that if you easy. go to our website, it'll explain everything. The calendars are there. You can sign up right online to reserve your seats, and you just show up with your... Favorite beverage. And for those that don't have a computer, how do they get in touch with you? They can call us at 603-427-8251. And the place is going to be located at 11 Main Street. Correct. And you're opening on the 17th? On the 15th, 15th. 15th. 15th of August. Of yep. August, 15th. we're going to open. Mm -hmm. Our first class starts at 6.30. We always encourage people to get there 15 minutes early just to kind of chit-chat and, you know, get their apron on and, you know, open up whatever they're going to drink. So... Yeah. That's, that's great. Well, this has been a very interesting interview. And, Thank uh, you. There's one more of you that, that helps out, and that's the daughter, but she's at the... the Our daughter, room. Kate. She's not, she couldn't make it today, but yeah. she's actually doing a lot of the teaching of the classes, too. And she's, uh, she's holding the floor. She's the very creative post. also. She's uh, a musician, and uh, we're a, a creative family. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you play drums, too, don't you? I do, yeah. yeah. 
I've played drums all my life. Uh, I still play in a band. It's a lot of fun. Um, I support the arts totally. Um, I don't know. I, I, I hope this really goes over well in Nashua. I, I just am very excited. I think about it's it. gonna, you're going to get a big bang out of it. So I, I hope. I so. think so. Everybody's right. been very nice, very accommodating. I had the mayor's office calling us, and then Telegraph, and then you called, and yeah. you know, Access Nashua. So yeah. Well, we want to get the word out, and we thank you for right. coming to the town. It thank really you. Really thank helps you. with the quality of life around here. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, I think it's a great idea. Thank, thank you. you so much. Well, thanks for. Uh, being on the show, and thank you for watching Gate City Chronicles. We hope that you enjoyed the show, and uh, mark it on your calendar to come check them out, 11 Main Street in Nashua. So until next week. Thank you for watching Gate City Chronicles, and we want to thank our sponsor, Aardvark Dean of Clean, the carpet cleaner in Nashua. You can reach him at 603-630-1743. And if you would like some more information about Gate City Chronicles or want to be a guest, contact me at GateCityChronicles at gmail.com. Until next week, thanks for watching. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.